I want to uh, run you through the three areas in which you need to uh, upgrade your Surface tablet. Um, I'm going to take you through uh, each step in turn, but it's important that you do keep an eye on each of these three areas. Let's do the, uh, the Windows 8 desktop first. So when you're on the main Surface uh, desktop interface, simply swipe in from the right to get your charms, go to settings. At the bottom of this settings screen is an option that says change PC settings. When you're on this screen, scroll to the bottom and there is an option called Windows Update. You'll notice that uh, there might be a, a message saying that there are updates available, but I always recommend simply asking it to check for Windows updates. Uh, it should do this every day, but depending on the time of the day, whether you've had the uh, Surface tablet turned off, it's always a good idea to simply check for updates. Obviously you need an internet connection, and you can see here it's actually saying that there is one important update to be installed, and if you want to install that update, you will simply click on that link. Now, let's return to the, the main surface. So that's the first area. The second area that you need to run updates is in the actual traditional PC side of the surface. So go into desktop mode. Once again, you're in desktop mode, swipe in from the right hand side, go to settings. Now, this time, stay away from the bottom, but come up to the top of the settings and you'll notice the good old-fashioned control panel option is there. Choose control panel. When you're in control panel, it might not look like this, but a really good view is to always just choose large icons. And then you'll see all of the different areas of control panel. The last one listed is Windows Update. Click on this option. What you've got to do here is that you've got to check for updates as well. You might prefer to use the keyboard here, but just very carefully make sure that you've gone check for updates. In this side of Windows, let's call it the old-fashioned Windows, it'll also check for updates. And this is the area that you need to run to get your version of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote updated. What will turn, tend to happen here is it will in fact tell you that there are updates and once again you need to install them manually from here. So that's the second area you need to upgrade. Now this the third and final area is your actual store or your apps. If you look at my little icon for the store here at the moment you'll notice that it indicates there are four updates waiting. So if you go into the store and remember you'll need to be connected to the internet to do this when the store opens, it explains that there's four updates available. Simply click on that link and you can select which of these at the moment they're all selected and you can simply run the install. It'll then run through and in the background it will install those apps. So you can see the ones that are starting here now. While it's happening you can simply go back. So, one, two, three areas that you have got to update your Surface tablet. The first is this desktop. The second is via control panel and Windows Update. And the third is by keeping an eye on the store. And you can see that all of my applications have been updated.